Tell for love guys, welcome back to another episode here on our channel. Um, it's Saturday here in Samo. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's been quite a uh, tough past two days. If the swollen eyes and nose um, doesn't already tell that. Um, I lost my dad two days ago. It's uh, It's been quite hard. Carrying on with uh, normal duties and um, you know the farm work and everything, but you know you, you gotta keep uh, chugging along, I guess. Um, but the memory stays with you, you know. Um, so I'm just getting ready now to go to the cattle farm. I was at uh, my dad's um, family at Malai Malufale Alili this morning, uh, just for some preparation works. We'll definitely be uh, taking you guys along the whole preparation and everything um, on to his final days. Um, but yeah, guys, um, about to head to the cattle farm and uh, check on the cows. Probably get some tar as well. So hope you guys enjoy the episode as I try to navigate uh, through these hard times and still uh, push out content, guys. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy today. guys so finally here at the cattle farm um, bringing the cows uh, their usual water and uh, forgot to tell you guys um, the cow I told you that would probably gave birth that would probably give birth soon actually did give birth that one there that grayish one just at the back of the calf black and white calf there so I'm just trying to show you guys the baby calf You guys can see down there it's not quite there you go it's around that area um, we'll just wait for the mom to move um, so that one finally gave birth the next one is that one the black glass there oh there's the calf so yeah um, I think the calf is also a bull as well so lots of bulls um, not too happy with that because I wanted more ladies as more ladies would mean uh, more cows but that's fine we can always do something about it um, so the last one would be this black one here um, that black one there then after that uh, should be good but if you see the ones that just gave birth which is this one here and the new one they all have the distinct um, appearance of our previous bull that black and white bull um, that we had here on the farm so um, these are all I think the bull probably um, bred three or four times in this cattle farm four times exact because it'll be that'll be one of its offsprings black and white there 
that other one in the back there this that new one there walking there with its mom and then most likely this one black but black one here as well so yeah pretty good um that's why it's always important to keep um the ratio of males to females inside the cattle farm um at least one to twenty um uh, so that's like one bull to twenty um females um and then after that um that's why i'm not i don't like that I've, we've got like five bulls now um but you know we'll work our way around it one thing to do is actually half up half the actual land and then create two different cattle farms um, so that they don't inbreed but then begin new lines or we could slaughter um, sell the trade sell or trade the bulls for some uh, women uh, female cattle so yeah really enjoying it he looks strong as well You know, with um, dad's passing, um, you know, two days ago, it's uh, quite hard um, on all of us, especially the kids as well. Um, you know, our usual morning, because you guys know we come from, we actually, you know, every morning we come from Kwa, you're at Lefanga. And uh, every morning my kids will go say good morning or oh, especially my youngest daughter and my youngest son um, and then he would take my youngest daughter to preschool um, and then hang around with my youngest son so you know it's really hard for them because he would also pick them up from school um, him or my brother and that relationship just that sudden my dad has been involved with all my children um, you know in their upbringing as well uh, he played a big part in their lives. Um, also, you know, being that that the greater father father figure, you know. So it's I, I miss him though. I really do miss him. Um, but also his his little right hand man here. Um, he would always take my son here um, wherever he goes here and there. So I think he's pretty. He's holding up all right, but it's it's something to prepare for in life. And I think I'm fortunate um, because, you know, I did have time to prepare and so did he. But there's just some things um, that you can't prepare enough for and wish you had more time to do. So that's one of the regrets, but um, we're all focused now on his final services. And you know the finals, you know, my dad is not an ordinary dad and his position in the village as well. So it's going to be big and we have to prepare for it. So, yeah, we need to get Taro. Sorry. This one's about to give birth um, probably tomorrow. I'm pretty sure tomorrow or uh, Monday, you guys see the milkers have actually um, gone big which means she's about to give birth soon so uh, another addition to the cattle farm praying it to be a female all right fam. we need to go get taro now okay for all right guys so um, I'm gonna get some taro now take money up She would be well. Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, i
锅炉啊。嗯，嗯，这个锅炉油，没干，不干锅啊。All right, so we've got our taro for tomorrow. Here's a nice taro. Um, we'll be doing a sucker tomorrow. Um, because uh, I don't think I can do a um, we'll see how we go we might not do a Sunday cooking episode but uh, it's just because we have to do meet up with the family again um, to do arrangements for the funeral so yeah <laughs> my dad was a big family man guy everything about him was family based um, he stood very high for his family and um, in the same way in our preparations we have to reflect that as well so yeah it's not easy so a um, lot of planning to go I'll definitely make some episodes as we go along but we'll definitely see if, if if we do do a cooking episode tomorrow definitely let you guys um we'll post it up tomorrow but um depends on how we go but hope you guys enjoyed today's content do apologize it's a bit um, not as usual as um, our normal episodes, but I just um, I appreciate the support guys and also everyone that's been messaging um, Just want to say thank you um, for the kind words. We'll definitely be doing a tribute video uh, for the old man in the upcoming weeks um, and uh, Yeah We'll see how we go but yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed today's content um, Be sure to like comment subscribe share our channel guys. We're gonna head home now with Siave um, and see what's left to do for Saturday. Um, but we'll definitely catch you guys on our next episode. Until then, God bless. Take care. Stay safe. We'll see you guys soon. Tyler for lover, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Um, yeah, welcome back um, to the channel. Uh, it is Sunday morning here in Samoa, and we're just gonna quickly prepare the food. Um, we have to head up. We have to head to a pier um, to meet with uh, my mom and my brothers um, for the usual Sunday tour night, but also um, begin uh, preparation talks with Dad's uh, final preparation. So I'm um, gonna quickly uh, do the food. I think it's mostly beef. It's only beef, so I'm thinking of doing a chow mein, probably a steak, and chop suey. Loi and Siave are doing the sucker at the moment. Uh, excuse me. But yeah, um, I'm going to quickly prepare the food because we have to head to a pier um, around 11ish. So we've got plenty of time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share our channel, guys, and we'll see you soon. Alright, so last week um, after Tornai, I did um, prepare some more beef cutting so that I don't have to take out the entire leg, um, the beef leg, cattle leg, um, to make the food. So I've got this here. It's got pak choy. Um, Siave is going to get most, get the other stuff for the food. Um, carrots, onions, and uh, lia lia for the chop suey. But yeah, I need to chop up the beef now.
finished dicing up the beef so we did two parts this part is for the stir fry and the um, stir fry and the sapsui this one here I did thin slices and that's for the steak just uh, I'm gonna get started on the put the beef for the chop suey and the chow mein onto the heat now and then uh, yeah we'll see how we go Now that the beef is on, I need to prepare the veggies for the stir fry, but also <coughs> the dear dear for the subsu. Alright, so the stir fry has run out of water um, just in the nick of time. It's reduced down to an oil, um, so I need to add just a bit more water to give it more time um, before, uh, so that we can add the carrots. Yep. Give me Skype, boy. Finish chopping up the carrots. Carrots going to go in first because they might take a bit longer um, to cook, and then we'll add in the, um, the we'll add in the. Uh, cabbage. We need to add the water first because we're going to throw in the carrots, then we'll reduce down again. Onion, garlic, seasoning. Just that. So we finished adding in all the uh, chop suey, the lia lia, and added water um, just so that um, the lia lia or the chop suey will absorb the water. So we're just going to wait um, and see how it grows and then depend whether we add a bit more water or not all right so um stir fry is coming around good gonna add in the cabbage now have a yeah. yeah.
All right, guys, so now I'm going to take you to my the usual marinade I've been using um, for our steaks on Sundays. Um, this one's a bit different from what we usually do, um, which is just fried with flour. But now I'm going to add the marinade that we usually do. So first we'll get the beef into the pan here. I mean the um, container here. It's quite a lot of beef, so I might have to do two batches. Um, next, we add... Um, wait, we'll go with soy first, not too much, that's enough, bit of salt, bit of MSG, alright, add some in there as well, alright, and then now we mix. Uh, we're going to add the cornstarch to uh, cornstarch, but not now. Just uh, in a minute. Need a bit more soy. All right. I don't want it too black, but I just want it enough. All right. Same here. All right. Now we add the cornstarch. I'm actually going to bring I'm going to bring it back into here. I think it's okay if we use just this one um, container. Cornstarch. Alright, just gonna add a little bit more because I need both hands. All right, stir fry is ready. Um, chop suey is on its way, um, but uh, we're gonna get started on the beef steak, chicken steak style, whatever that's called, steak. Um, the pan, the pot heated, and we'll add the oil. All right, pot is heated. Now we're adding the oil. There we go. Take the oil in. And now we wait for the oil to heat up. So what I'm going to do different this time is because when I did the last time, because we were in a rush, I just dumped it all um, into the oil. Um, but this time I'm actually going to try and fry them one, one at a time and then put them to the side. And then we'll add in the, um, we'll bring it all back in. Just a small amount of water, put it on low heat and then simmer. All right, so that was fairly quick. Um, so you guys see it's browned off. I think it didn't even take um, a minute. So all I'm doing is just quickly frying them and then taking them out. Because they're so thinly cut, um, that's the reason why they are um, sort of like browning off really quick. Um, and that's the goal when I'm doing steak is to try and cut them um, fairly thin. Um, especially you've got to marinate it properly uh, to ensure that um, it's nice and tender. So I've got a bit more to go and then I will catch up when it's almost done. All right, um, onto the final batch here. So we've got the steak frying here and then I transfer it over here, which is now steaming. Once this is all done, um, we're gonna transfer that oil into here and then uh, let it simmer. Put it on low heat, let it simmer for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, um, just so that it completely tenderizes the meat. All right, so I've just added in the onions um, to the pot that's steaming onto the final batch. Just a bit of water and cornstarch in here, mixture, uh, to thicken this once we get to it. Um, but once this is done, we're going to pour it all into here, and then add that cornstarch mix to here, and then uh, let it simmer. 
All right, so I've just added everything that was here into here, into the pot. Now I'm just going to add a bit of water into this, just so that we can get out most of the um, nice beef flavoring that's stuck on the pan. Now we're just going to stir that up once it starts boiling again, and then we'll add it to here. Alright fam, so I'm just going to do a quick recap, um, if you can hear me because it's raining now. Um, we're going to do a quick recap of what we've got our chop suey here. We've got our stir fry. And our steak is now simmering. So yeah, majority beef menu today. Everything's looking good. And uh, just going to wait for a bit. Ah, my, I burnt my fingers. Sorry guys. Ooh. Oh, man that hurts. Um, but yeah. So we're just going to wait for about maybe half an hour to an hour and a half um, so that the steak is completely tender. 